Chris made this. Well, all right. It's your boy Art Zar back on scene with a full head of steam, live and direct, ready to go ahead so I can definitely flex. Guys, I wanted to open up a new portion of the channel and more or less getting to doing some unboxings because I've been getting a little bit of requests here and there about doing some of those when items come in just to get the reaction uh, on my face when things first come in, but you don't get to see my face too often because I'm more or less focused on the product for you guys. So. You will definitely hear the enthusiasm of my voice though going forward. So today I received a package in the mail. Been waiting on this. A little bit off the beaten path. Obviously, coach is my go-to. But from here and there, periodically, time to time, I like to look at other luxurious items and put that out just for you guys to take a look at, making determinations whether or not you think it is plausible or not. Uh, for you or palatable for your taste in articles or clothing or gear or whatever the case may be. Either way, I digress. Let's get into it. So what I have today, let's do it. Bang! I didn't even have to do that because the box made the sound itself. So let's go ahead and get into this unboxing, if we will, okay? Uh, first, I'd like to mention this item I actually purchased actually off of grailed.com. G-R-A-I-L-E-D.com. That's a site we can go on and actually find uh, items uh, at a very, very moderate uh, pay, a moderate price rather. Uh, at most cases, most people will purchase something and they might not like it. They may hold it for a couple of days or maybe a week or a month or however long it is. And basically you go on there and you just make a bid. It's kind of like a luxurious eBay, but on there they have all of the luxury brands. I actually come across that a little ways ago and I decided to go on there and find some of my favorite or probably my favorite go-to sneakers that I've been looking for. When you go to Neiman Marcus or Nordstrom's or any of these spots to locate these things, they're extremely hard to find in my size. I'm 11.5 US size and it's extremely difficult to find. And if they do have my size, they're ridiculously expensive. And it's like, ugh, I can't see myself spending that kind of money for a pair of sneaks. But yeah, once or twice a year, you might want to splurge and knock that out. So. It's definitely possible, but let's go ahead and get into this here. So what I have here is my SOG Sogzilla. Use this to bust up my packages for anything like that. Ooh, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and try to get into this thing if we will, without damaging the box. <laughs> let's see here, they do a very good job wrapping these things, I tell you. Let's see here. Let's unbox this if we will. Hit it in the areas that I think we need to. Without damaging anything. All right. Oh my God! Did an absolutely amazing job. Booyah! This is exactly what I've been waiting for, my good friends out there. Everyone that knows me knows I'm a coach guy. But what about my footwear? What about everything else that I rock? Okay. A lot of people really don't get a chance to get behind the scenes on this stuff that I actually go out and get. But these are the Christian Louboutins. I, I love his sneakers. I have a few of these. I think they're awesome. And, and sometimes you can find a good pair, like I said, on grill.com. You can go to guilt.com, G-I-L-T.com. They're, they're amazing places to find these items at uh, very, very moderate prices, a little bit less than what you find retail at some of the big box locations that you're luxurious malls and things like that like i said from time to time you might run across a pair in the mall you might get your hands on it might love it you might not but hey guys you know at the end of the day it's about getting value for your money and aligning yourself with people who have the capacity to get you the things that you need in life at a you know very moderate price like i said we're not about uh overindulging in cost so consumerism definitely a big no-no so it's a uh, calculated purchase. This is what it's all about. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into this. I've digressed enough. Christian Louboutins, are you guys going to see this for the first time? Just like I just bust this over. I don't know exactly what this is going to look like in person, but let's do it. Bang. Look at that. Unbelievable. These things are magnificent. I love Christian Louboutin. You guys see this. First time as I'm seeing it. See what's coming in this box before we get into it. 
Looks like I have some extra laces. This is interesting. Uh, Christian Louboutin, a French designer. Uh, he's got a very good sense of humor, and I can understand what that's about because I have one too. So there you go. <clears throat> um, he's actually chosen to use these little felt bags for the shoelaces. I thought that was an interesting touch. Uh, this is something that I wouldn't have never thought of for just some shoelaces, but hey, if it is what it is, it is what it is. Let's just go with it, okay? Let's see what else we have in here. Okay, uh, there's a little, another little baggie. Oh, I think I just lost one of my noose. So here's the deal. Uh, they've even included some of the little studs, some extra studs for the shoe. I guess, I guess in case something were to uh, accidentally or inadvertently uh, knock one of the studs off of the shoe and you obviously lose that if you're walking out of town or something like that. You're not going to chase down the stud. You're not even know it's gone. But if you actually do happen to look down and notice that it's gone, guess what? There you go. There's a few studs in here to actually replace one here every now and then. Now, I don't think I'll have the problem losing studs, but you never know. Uh, you pop these on. Looks like that's how he made this uh, Louboutin. So this is a great touch. This is something extra that I didn't expect, but hey, I'll go with it. All right, I'll go with it. So at the end of the day, the studs are a great touch. You know, like I said, anytime you lose one, you just pop that bad boy back on, you're back in business. And I'm sure you can go into his website, louboutinworld.com and possibly find uh, some of these studs on there if you actually need them. Uh, I don't think that'll be the case for me, but anyway, I digress. Let's go ahead and take a look at the sneaks. Okay, so if you get a look at these, you get to see that these haven't been worn in quite some time. I'm probably going to do a little bit of maintenance and cleaning on these, which I certainly will do. But that's not a problem. Uh, you know, we just do, you know, do a little surface uh, inspection on these. I think they're pretty good and really good condition. Uh, no big, huge, noticeable wear and tear on these. I think they're magnificent for the cost. Uh, again, uh, they're not all scuffed up and scratched up. The soles on these are beautiful. Obviously, I'm going to clean those to my liking <laughs> and get these exactly the way I want them. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we'll go through these. Louboutin actually does a really good job uh, with his stitching and materials. He actually stitches these very well. He makes these uh, so awesomely uh, constructed to wear you really don't get to see uh, any of the huge uh, wear and tear on these. If you don't, if you have a pretty good, I would say, rotation on sneakers, I think you'll do very well in terms of being able to determine exactly uh, how long these will go. But again, there's there's really no major wear and tear on these. I pretty got a really good deal on these, and you can see here uh, by doing the inspection on the left shoe and the right shoe, uh, these are rock solid, man. These are all that. <laughs> so we'll do a little maintenance on them, obviously. Kind of get them going, clean them up a little bit, the way that I like to my taste. But that's what happens when you go on like grill, get some really good stuff at a really good price. Uh, you can look at the stitching along the side, double track stitching, of course, along the vamp of the shoe. You have your obvious uh, studs, which are native to his design uh, quality. So this is exactly how he puts his shoes together awesome of course uh you get to see all of the different ways that he stitches he uses some of the best leather out there too that's another thing he uses very high grade calf skin where the part that i can feel like where i get stuck with the spikes <laughs> but uh he uses some of the very best materials the shoes are actually kind of weighty which i like that lets you know you're getting a really good shoe uh when they weigh something like that you know you're not getting a cheap article you know, your, your, your Louboutins are going to have some really good uh, balance when you wear them. Uh, and you're going to just be very careful with them, obviously. You're going to take your time. Obviously, I'm going to run these through the cleaner size system, you know. And you guys get to see some of the mod shots of this when I got them cleaned up and I'm uh, strolling with these on. You'll see the finished product when I'm finished with them. I just wanted you to see the unboxing with me as it came in, you know. So since Louboutin happens to be my favorite designer, uh, sneakers wise uh, this I had to get these out here get you guys to take a look at it that gold though man doesn't that pop that gold is crazy I mean these are the types of shoes that you can dress these up you can dress them down around the town uh, you know however you want to do it these things will actually get some attention 
Uh, you could throw these on with a suit, actually. I believe you could pull that off. I believe I could pull it off. I know some guys out there could pull it off. But these would go with anything. You can dress them up, dress them down. Like I said, and you could basically pull this off with about anything that's worth your time and worthwhile of looking at. These are sweet, man. Nice looking kicks. And I believe, like I said, when you get used to uh, rocking the Louboutin brand, you get to know uh, different ways you can style these. Uh, you know, jeans, uh, t-shirts, dress shirts, whatever your style is, you know. I, I have a very, very eclectic type of style. My style is more or less I like to describe as urban contemporary, if that's a reality or not. But I love these, man, these things are beast. And you know, like I said, you clean them up, get them nice where you, where you really want these. And I think they'll start to uh, show off the wonderful characteristics that they were when they came spanking brand new in the box when this gentleman picked them up. But like I said, you know, these guys will hold this stuff. Uh, they may have no more use for it or they may, you know, decide to buy something else. These shoes are an investment piece, guys. It's not something you can find what you're going to just buy and throw in the back of the closet. And if you do throw them in the back of the closet, you're going to eventually find your way back to these where you're going to rock them again. So, again, guys, these are the types of things that are staple pieces. They're not your everyday, every outfit type of sneaker. And so you don't want to have that everyday rotation over and over and over again with the same sneaker. You'll beat them up, you'll tear them up. It's not what you want, guys. You want a great healthy rotation where a pair of shoes will get worn once every week or two, or maybe every two or three weeks. Yeah, I have like a three week rotation, to be honest with you. So never wear the same shoes two days in a row. Uh, sometimes it takes me a month and a half to get to the same pair of sneakers, sometimes longer, depending upon what I'm wearing and what I'm doing. So that's how it is, guys. So again, I just wanted to break these out for my loyal uh, subscribers, you guys get an idea of how your boy Arzar likes to roll sometimes. It's not an everyday thing, you know, but it's here and there. You know, sometimes you got to put it out there so you can get a good feel for what the people love and what you love and see if there's a connection, see if there's some synergy. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I like to roll. So, uh, guys, again, these are the Christian Louboutin sneakers. I'm not sure which design these are. Actually, here you go. They're the Yang Lewis Flat Calfskins. Uh, what's this? Uh, your Lemonato Dinos. Okay. Black and gold. Right there. So, there you go. And you know what you got going on here, people. So, run across some Christian Lubies out there. You want to put these out? Go ahead and do it. These are awesome sneakers. They command your attention when they show up on the scene. Every single pattern I've ever seen, when you see them, you automatically know what they are. They are unique, they are comfortable, they are luxurious, and they do stand the test of time. And guys, that is it for me. Uh, this is your boy, Art Czar, live in effect and direct. Back on the scene, looking mean, styling for the clean. You know how it goes. Well guys, again, do me a favor. Uh, give me a like, share, and a subscribe. Of course, leave me a comment down below of how I could actually improve these videos, make them nicer for you guys, make them to where they're uh, uh, easily uh, uh, indulgent for you to continue to watch them. Of course, I'll keep dropping the hot stuff every single chance that I get. I like uh, what I do with you people. You guys are awesome. Love all of your comments and your encouragement. I'll keep cracking these out. The more I get, you guys will be definitely there for me and I appreciate it. So uh, remember guys, go out and get your pair of these, spread the love, let's get with it. Your boy Arts are and I'm out. Peace. All right, my good people. Got them on feet, as I mentioned. These newbies clean up very well. They look nice and smooth. You put them on, they shine. They, they do exactly what they're supposed to do. Uptown, baby. Yeah. Wonderful views. Newest tower uptown. Beautiful. But back to the things, so guys. These lubies do the job. As you can see, we rock these. They feel amazing. And they even look better when they're nice and shiny. That's how it's supposed to be, guys. So, that completes the review from the lubies. Nice, very nice touch.
four arts are like flex on it. Make it very nice. Enjoy the view. A little bit of daylight. This is the way to knock the lubies out. My favorite spots. Ooh, yeah.